Okay, now we're going to see the new chapter, chapter 13, Simple Probability. So in this chapter, we were going to see what is a probability. So first, in your textbook, the probability is mean a measurement of possible occurrence of an event. Okay, so this probability usually is writing in form of fraction or percentage. Okay, we can write in fraction or percentage. So, but in your textbook, if you refer your textbook, usually the probability is given in fraction. Eh? Most of, uh, most, mostly, mostly is given in fraction. Okay, so before we go into calculate the probability, so we need to know some basic first. So the first basic you need to know is how to identify or how to determine the sample space. So the sample space is a set of all the possible outcome of an experiment. Experiment can uh, just, just consider as an action. Eh? This one you can just consider as an action. More, maybe it's throwing a dice or, throw, or throwing a coin, something like that. That is an action. So after you're doing some action, what you were getting is called as possible outcome. What is the possible you can get after you do some action? So that is a possible outcome. So if we say sample space, actually it's something like the list of the possible outcome and write in the form of set. Okay, and then how many different uh, different outcome you can list is called as number of sample space and this is a symbol for number of sample space okay so number of sample space is the number of all the possible outcomes so that means how many things you can list out in your set okay so now we're going to see some example okay so the first example now the action is throwing a fair coin so this is your experiment okay this is an action so after the action what is possible i can get is either i get head or tails so this is a possible outcome Okay, so the possible outcome I get, I have two possible outcomes. So the number of sample space is equal to two. And then I have two different things. So these two different outcomes I list out in set. So this is a sample space. So sample space. Okay, so that's why I said the sample space is something like the list of the possible outcome okay and we might write in set notation okay you see we write in set notation okay because the definition for sample space is set okay remember the sample space it uh, is a set okay it's a set okay so this is the first example then we're going to see the second example Okay, so now I need you to choose a letter from the words mathematics. So this is referred to the action. Or we say that is experiment. So the experiment now is choose a letter from words mathematics. So that means all the letter in the words can be possible, uh, can be possible outcome. So that means the sample space will be the list of all the letter. Okay, remember if the letter is repeat, you need to repeat also in your sample space. So then the number of sample space means we count how many number I have in the sample space. Now I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's why I have 10 possible outcome. Okay, 
the possible outcome is equal to 10. Okay, so I hope you understand uh, based on these two examples. And sometimes, uh, example, the question can be asked a little bit different. I say, for example, now you have a fruit in a box. Pick one from the box. So, what is a sample space if the box is content with apples and also orange? Right? So, the sample space in this situation, in this situation, the sample space actually is referred to all the fruit inside the box. Not only refer to apple or orange, but refer to both of them. So, that means the sample space is apple plus with the orange. Okay? So, that's why in the number of sample space, they will equal to 5 apple plus 15 orange. Finally, I get 15. Sorry, 5 apple plus 10 orange. So I get 15. It's the uh, number of sample space. Okay, so for this question, I didn't list out all the sample space. But if you want to list out this question, you need to differentiate the five apples so I need to write down as five apple one for example apple two apple three apple four and apple five so different shape all of them are different okay and then orange also same orange one orange two okay okay so I can list out all the them and then I label with the letter uh, numbers because I want to differentiate which one, uh, they are all different orange and also they are all different apples. So there's sample space here. Okay, this is a sample space. Remember, sample space must be given in set notation. Without the set notation, that means you are not answer the questions. So this is a three example and also the meaning of sample space and probability. So that's all for this part.